Sunday night, not kind for the UCLA Bruins coming home after a two-game losing slide. They come up short for the third consecutive time, 2-1 to the Highlanders of UC Riverside. It started well for the Bruins a half an hour in, thanks to Jose Hernandez. Well, this was fantastic, the action. Vale right here, located in Hernandez, but just come on the field. I thought he was the most impressive Bruin uh, throughout the day, consistent, did everything, multifaceted, really brought the game to life. But then UCR, a team that's potent at attack, and you see Salas, our wonderful player, Ricky Ruiz, bam, at near post, could the keeper have done better, perhaps, but it was a good focused, concentrated shot, equalizes for uh, Riverside. So it would go to overtime, and in the first period, it was Ruiz, the goal scorer, on the approach, works his way around, it takes an odd deflection, and heartbreak city for UCLA goalkeeper Dakota Havlick, and this one an end in the most dire of fashion. Normally a routine save, you see that Salazar was on the uh, doorstep right there, unfortunate for UCLA, but give credit to Riverside with a great performance. So three consecutive defeats for the first time since the 2007-2008 season. 16 shots to 11 for the Bruins. They couldn't quite finish it off. Slight edge in terms of shots on target. Three saves for Havlick who started brilliantly. Five big saves for Benny Morales who is equal to the task. And five big corners, none for the Highlanders. Fouls, 14 for the Bruins, 10 for UC Riverside. Christopher. Where do the Bruins go from here? Well, I think there's a lot to work on. They're, they're missing the cutting edge and the punch in their attack in the open field. I thought the two freshmen were very good, uh, Jackson Ewell and, and Jose Hernandez. But a lot to think about for, um, for this young coach right here. He's always put together and assembled great teams. They're used to imposing and, and, and enjoying the rhythm of a game, and today they didn't really have it. Well, Jorge Salcedo and the UCLA Bruins will look to get back on track next up against Cal Poly. But full-time here, UCR 2, UCLA 1.